Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to show you a video on how to verify your Namecheap SSL. And uh, the problem that I had with this was that I couldn't figure out where they were sending the verification email because it was you had a, a drop down list of choices like admin or webmaster at yourdomain.com. So we're going to look at um, what was going on here. So here I have, uh, I'm in Namecheap. I go to um, my account, the dashboard, and then here I have the, the domain. Okay, and then I see here that they're, um, I think that it's red, the, the lock is red because there's something wrong. So it says in progress here, um, I've already started this, this confirmation process, so yours might look different, but um, in my case, uh, I'm trying to send an email to this this admin at amyart.com, which I didn't have any idea where that web, uh, where that email even goes to. So um, I clicked on, uh, let me go back. I clicked on here on resend email. And then uh, and then so let me um, show you what's going on here. So we can pick and we can pick email, and then we have a list of choices here for which um, email we can we can go to. So this this one is where I was confused. At. So you choose Amy Art, save changes, okay. But then where does this email go? So we're gonna resend the email. It turns out that. Um, here, let me just resend it. It turns out that you have to, yes. Oh wait, no, I didn't do it. Resend, there we go. And then it'll give you a little message up here once the validation has been sent. Okay, so it turns out you have to go to cPanel and create this. Um, I'm hosting in cPanel with Namecheap. So you have to go to cPanel um, and create that domain email address in your cPanel emails. So here I'm going to go to, uh, wait a minute, I'm going to go to cPanel. I'm just showing you how to get to cPanel through here. So let's go to um, manage hosting, stellar hosting, uh, a little arrow, go to cPanel. Okay, so it's going to take us to cPanel. And then what I want to do here is go down to email, to email accounts. And um, now I can, you can see I already created it here, but when I, uh, when I started, this wasn't here. So let me just, let me just delete this. Yes, I'll delete this one. So this was all that I saw. Okay, so and there's this create button here. So you press create, you, um, So, so here you see your domain, and then this is where you're supposed to put whatever you use in there, webmaster, I use admin at uh, is amyart.com. And so um, we got to set a uh, password. Okay, and then, uh, you know, I don't know, just default settings will probably be fine. And then so we create this. Now we have the admin, okay. So now, uh, I wonder if the email's already in there. So we click on it and we click on open. And uh, yeah, so we do, we do already have an email. I don't know if it was the one that I just sent, but um, let me go back here and send it one more time just to make sure. So there, um, I got, this is in, in Swedish uh, right now. For some reason, my computer is from Sweden. Maybe that's why, but uh, this one sent at 50. Oh yeah, so this was probably the one I just uh, sent. And then I guess we should be getting a second one soon. But anyway, that was the part that I was confused about. I haven't actually done the rest yet. So um, hopefully you can figure that out on your own, but the problem that I was having was to um, 
create that, you know, which, where to get the uh, the admin email. That was what was confusing for me. So um, that's how you do that. Um, okay. So thanks for watching. And uh, I hope this can help you a little bit. And if not, uh, good luck, because I know it's so difficult. So bye.